Hi everyone, it's Liam here from biggerplate.com. I've been asked by our friends at Mind Manager to share some ideas about the ways mind mapping and visualization techniques could be used by professionals in sales and account management roles. So let's take a look. So having completed the sales planning process using a mind map, we're now ready to move into the client discovery phase. And this is really where we're trying to engage the prospect or the client. We're trying to explore and understand the opportunity or maybe opportunities we don't even know about yet and capture wherever possible key requirements and information that may help us to go on and deliver that. In terms of the benefits of using mind mapping and visualization in this process, the really key thing here is the flexible structure that you could go into a meeting with if you use mind mapping software. And using the simple question of tell me more, you can follow the dialogue wherever the client wants to go, but always bring it back to the structure of a mind map that you know you need to move through in order to get a clear view of this opportunity and the potential sale. The mind map, if you're sharing it with the client in real time, is also a fantastic way of aligning understanding and avoiding uh, misunderstandings or, or lacking information. It's a really good way to show your notes and clarify in real time with the prospect or with the client whether you have understood them correctly and to show how much you've understood their situation. Once you then move past that, it's really easy to take the mind mapping software and send it into other formats that you can then share with those prospects and those clients so that they can look at your summary of the situation and your recap and make sure again that they understand it. You can also share it internally with your team to show them the summary of the meeting, what happened, what was discussed. So you can share, for example, into a simple PDF or as interactive HTML outputs or even using tools like Mind Manager, actually create collaborative online mind maps to share with others. So let's take a look at a really simple client discovery mind map and how that might work. So here's an example of a client discovery mind map template. Now this will work just as well for virtual meetings or in-person meetings, but really my key recommendation is wherever possible, you try and make sure the client can see this mind map. So as you take your notes in the mind map, they can see how you are understanding their situation. Now, as you go into the meeting, you should aim to want to work around the mind map clockwise, starting by understanding the client's strategic objectives, priorities and projects, exploring with them some of their challenges, both internal and external, opportunities they see, internal and external, and then starting to move around into what you might be able to help them with. So that's where you maybe start to offer up some of those solutions that you identified in your planning map. And again, you've got the option here of giving them a brief overview and really using the mind map to present, but then also capture questions as they happen. And again, I'd encourage you to have the map visible so that you can both present and capture their questions and feedback as you go through. You can then move around into the planning stage where you can start to ask them, for example, who are the key people involved or how many people are going to be involved in a project. You can then start to ask questions around the finances, you know, what budget is available, what is a procurement process and what might some of the next steps be. The important thing is with this mind map, as I said before, is you can follow the client really wherever they want to go in their discussion. So if they want to jump down straight away to this massive opportunity that they see down here, uh, an external opportunity perhaps in uh, Asia Pacific, and they want to talk specifically about that, that's great. You can follow this all the way as far as you want to know. What is the opportunity? Which countries? What scale? Uh, what time frame, and you can just populate the map with any ideas and information that the person is willing to share at that point in time. But importantly, in following one thread down here, you can always then bring it back to the structure of the map and say, where does this opportunity that you've identified down here fit with the larger objectives of the organization. So you can bring the topics and the discussion back to these other sections of the mind map that you would be interested to populate so that you can better understand their business and their organization. I don't recommend using too many different uh, tools or, or, or features in the software here during these kind of sessions. You really want to try and keep the map looking simple. You don't want to be fussing around with clicking too many buttons or features. But one of the things you may want to do through the session is again, in collaboration with the client or the prospect, is mark certain things as really meriting that extra attention. And again, we could just call upon those simple icons in the software to maybe mark something up as this is something that really stood out as, as a key priority. So again, we can just build out the mind map in discussion and really use the map to reference back to the client, have I heard you correctly? And if they actually correct us, we can clarify our understanding in real time, change the answers 
us move things around however we see fit. So the client discovery map is probably the simplest map that you could go into a meeting with to try and just capture all the key information you need and then maybe some of the slightly less tangible things that the client may want to share through the discussion. Hopefully you come away with a really great summary of everything that was discussed, some clear sense of the next steps captured in here, and then we can start to move on to the final stage, which is then managing that account once you've hopefully closed and completed that sale.